Hi everyone and welcome back to the Vlog Files. My wife and I have been working on this room all week and we are exhausted. Yes, it's been a very exhausting week. My wife and I have been painting this room and what colour did we go? White, of course. So it wasn't too hard to work out, it had to be white. White is the obvious choice when you've got all these colours in one room. I actually spoke to a couple of paint experts and white was the way to go. With the play area finished, I now got to figure out this library. Completely white, white canvas, let's go around the room and have a look. So I've currently got up some PlayStation 2 games, some Japanese ones and the American ones. This should fit the full collection of PlayStation 2. And the only reason I put these up first is I wanted to just see what it looked like on a white canvas, on a white wall. And I'm still not 100% sold myself. Uh, what I want to do is put those light boxes up um, in certain areas and I'll talk about that at the end of this. So I'll just take you around at the moment. This is where PlayStation 3 is going to be. So on, on, um, on these smaller shelves, which will house the collection. So every shelf in here is pretty much designed to house its full um, set, its full collection of, of whatever console. So Xbox original will be on here, Xbox 360. This will be PlayStation 1 Japanese, PlayStation 1 US with Vita and PSP. Xbox One, obviously, that's just on there to get a feel for it. Um, and then there'll be PC here, PC there. Just, just some, um, you know, just some uh, kind of shelving to house console stuff. Amiibos, so now we come through to the Nintendo area. Just have a look at this. So this is all Nintendo. So here will be Famicom, NES, Super Famicom, Super NES, N64. And I'm gonna block off that window at the end and put two big shelves to house the GameCube collection, both Japanese and um, Japanese and American. This will cover, about here will cover the Wii, uh, Wii collection, then I'll have Wii U and Switch. So this will house the full Nintendo collection. So it's massive, right? It's so much bigger than it was before because we've got no game consoles, no TVs, no simulators, so we haven't got anything like that. Here, I have to order more shelves. Um, those shelves that were here actually gone onto the wall. Um, and then I'm going to order another seven shelves. So five um, are here, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And as I was saying, the two on the back wall. And this Nintendo, I wish, like I'd love to have you all in this room at once and just to see the, the scale of this Nintendo area, it's gonna be out of control. So on this wall here will be X68000, um, Neo Geo, and I'm not going to have MVS here anymore, so the Neo Geo arcade carts, they're going to go with the arcade PCBs in the arcade room, and that's where they belong. There's no point in playing a Neo Geo arcade game and walking from the arcade room to come in the console room to grab that game, it just doesn't make sense. Um, some of it I forgot. So yeah, here, these, there's gonna be five big shelves, uh, here and they will be housing all my handheld stuff and I think I worked out to be about with the handheld like DS and all that around the 7,000 game mark something like that 7,000 handheld on this side of Nintendo there'll be Atari and here will be Amiga and then Commodore 64 and Spectrum and there's more room than before because remember we had simulators um, on this wall so you didn't have those shelves and you didn't have you know, these shelves weren't as, um, uh, they didn't come across as much because we had the backs of the seats, we had to allow room. So just so many more shelves, yet there's more room in the aisles because I've actually got them longer this way, but I've given uh, more distance. Um, and that's because we haven't got uh, the consoles. Keep in mind, from the wall to three and a half meters was used just for consoles uh, for the play area. So you imagine, 20 meters by three and a half meters. That's a long, that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of, uh, what, space back for, for console games. And yeah, and even this one here is just a spare shelf. Like I, I haven't even allocated that for anything. PC Engine will be going on this one. It's just, it's insane. And Master System here, Genesis, Mega Drive Japanese, 
satin Dreamcast. So it's gonna look amazing. Um, you know what? A lot of people ask me, where do I get these shells from? I get that all the time. So it's hard to, um, if you're in America, from what I've been told, it's called an Oscar, O-S-K-A-R. I'm pretty sure that's right. And um, I'll put in the, in the description, um, that's from Amazon, but they're called Oscars. In Australia, uh, you get them from Selby, uh, just S-E-L-B-Y, Selby, and they actually sell the shelves, I can't remember how much, something around $100 mark um, per shelf. So this is just one shelf here, and that's where you get them, all right? So that's you know, Australia, and I'm sure all over the world, there'll be somewhere to get them, they're called Oscar. So there you go, just down there, Oscar, that's how you spell it. That's it, that's the room. Now, I've got plenty of work to do. So one of the works I've got to do is um, you'll see down there, there's a strip of lights just in front of the PlayStation 2, and there's none here. I've already, I've just put those lights in, um, those three, so now I've got to put another three here just to light up this area a little bit more. There weren't any shelves here because there was a play area, obviously here and that side. So now I've had to, yeah, make it lighter. So we see the beautiful colors of the games and all that kind of thing. Now I was saying at the start, uh, have those light boxes and you may remember them from the room tour or you know, if you've been watching me for a while, they've been up. And they're basically um, just a yellow backing with LED strips and they really bring out um, the kind of the color of the box, the yellow, and I have consoles mounted in the box. So to just say this is the Sega area, I'd have the Master System, the Mega Drive, the Saturn and the Dreamcast in there, maybe a Game uh, GameCube, a Game Gear. So I'd do something like that. And uh, I still would like to do that. I still like to have those boxes. I mean, I'm built. I give up almost. Yeah. What would He-Man do? Have you ever had a job to do you thought was boring and unimportant? We all have. Any job worth doing is worth doing well, no matter how dull it may seem at the time. Okay, it's 9.30 in the morning, Luke's at school, Zelda's playing, and Mandy and I are about to bring in all the video games. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I've set up last night my X68000 collection and I'm so proud of this collection. It just looks amazing. These big Japanese um, uh, boxes of art. It just looks incredible, right? So, um, and I fluffed them out because once I get the rest of them, you know, over time, um, this shelf will be enough to hold the full X68000 collection. And now we come over here to the AES collection where the Neo Geo AES will go. It'll be using um, this part of the shelf. Um, I've just put games up to kind of earmark where I'm going to put them. And this here is the box I was talking about, the light box that'll go up top. There's eight of them in total that'll surround the room. And they are yellow, well they're yellow at the moment, this is the one I'm thinking of changing it to orange to just kind of be a uh, overall one. All right, so I've got to um, put this up. It's very heavy, so uh, I'll get Mandy to help me put that up. We'll have a look how uh, that goes, and then we better get stuck into this room. We're going to work all day. <laughs> So I don't mind the look. I like the fact that it looks a bit hidden even though it's a big box kind of coming out of the wall. It's still camouflage being white on white. The boxes were like that to begin with. They were red boxes on red wall. So I did expect the same type of thing. What do you think? I'm pretty happy. They will be lit up. There'll be LED strip on the bottom that you won't see. They'll be lighting up the box. 
So the LED strip at the back of the box, at the bottom, and at the front of the box. So the back to light up the back, and the front to light up whatever's in there, the consoles, to give a depth look. So I'll screw that on the wall in a second because it's just being held by these shelves. Lucky it doesn't fall. Uh, let's go and have a look in the dining room and see what's ahead of us today. All right, so here we are in the dining room and you've seen this before. This is what we'll be doing today. Mandy and I will be getting out all this stuff and take it in there. And there's also more boxes over in the workroom regarding consoles, regarding consoles. So um, they're going to have to come here as well. Um, yeah, so let's get to work. All right, it's afternoon and I've set up pretty much uh, the Master System games, the Mark III games, the Genesis and the Australian Mega Drive games. Haven't got a lot of Australian Mega Drive games. Uh, that's the PAL region, so England and Australia. So now I've got to set up the Japanese Mega Drive games and I've got the full set. So I'm going to put them out on the floor and I have to put them back on the shelf in chronological order. Uh, I've got it on the laptop. It's going to take probably about between two and three hours to do it properly. Then I'll have some dinner. Once the kids are in bed, then Mandy and I'll keep working through the night to try and get at least this Sega section done, uh, possibly Dreamcast and maybe Sega Saturn tomorrow because that's, that one's a real tough one. Um, better go, better get at it. over halfway, dinner's ready, once the kids are in bed, back on this wall, finish off Sega tonight, at least the Mega Drive, and do it all again tomorrow. Ooh, here it comes. It's almost midnight. I can't believe the day has been consumed by just setting up all these Mega Drive Genesis and Master System games. Uh, it's, it's incredible, you know, it just went like that. So I'll get some rest and I guess I'll be at it again tomorrow.